Hello, greetings, and salutations to you all. I figured I'd take this moment to explain how the dual-clutch automatic transmission works, the DPS-6 and the Focus and Fiestas. The magic all starts with the TCM right here. The TCM is mounted on the transmission. That's where these two, you see these two holes right here? These two gears right here on the back of the TCM go into those holes. And what those two gears do when commanded, they rotate, which uh, here's the other side of those two holes. When they rotate, they turn these clock gears, which in turn turns the shift drum. There are recesses on the shift drum, which when rotated, it will cause the shift fork to raise up and apply a synchronizer. That's what these are down here, shift forks. Here's a better view. See? These are the two output shafts here. They house all the synchronizers. Okay, so now that you know how the TCM controls gear shifts, let me show you how it applies and releases each clutch. Here's the TCM once again. That's our first component here. Here's the wiring harness right here. The TCM will send a signal through the harness, which will come to a clutch actuator. The clutch actuators mount on the outside of the clutch housing right here. This is the other half of the case. Once the signal from once the signal from the TCM reaches the clutch actuator, the clutch actuator will turn, which you see. <clears throat> the clutch actuator has splines, which spline into the back of the clutch forks right here. And when that actuates, it'll turn this clutch fork, and rotate it really quickly, which will push this out. And in turn, we'll raise the fork, push it into this slave cylinder right here, and push against the pressure plate. When it pushes against the pressure plate, that will apply the clutch. This is your other clutch right here, clutch actuator. The same thing applies, it splines into the back of the fork here, and when commanded, it will rotate the fork and push and apply the A clutch. This is the A clutch fork. It's wider than the B clutch fork. Yeah, there you have it folks, just a quick overview here. I figured since I had these parts sitting out, I could put up a demonstration for you. It's really not too difficult of a transmission to understand. I hope this helps. And this transmission essentially is a two different three-speed manuals in one box here, in one case, because each of these shafts can be controlled independently. Here's one shaft, and uh, here's the second shaft. What I mean is the transmission can actually have two different gears applied at the same time. For example, if you're at, driving along in first gear, it'll have second gear applied as well, but it's not going to actually be engaged until the clutch engages. Each clutch is splined to a different shaft here. That's how that works. That's how they get away with that. But yeah, that's the basic rundown of the transmission. Let me go ahead and go a little further here, just a little bit. This is your final drive. It comes right out of here. On each side, that's where your axles slide in. You see those splines in there? That's for the axles. And with that out of the way, you can get a better view of the rest of the synchronizers and forks in there. Like I said, it's just two manual transmissions in one case. In any case, I wasn't clear on the clutch assembly here. This assembly houses two different clutches and pressure plates. See? Here's the pressure plate right here. And here's another pressure plate. Each of these pressure plates here, that's where the Z washers push. Here are the Z washers. They sit on the slave cylinder. See? That's the slave cylinder. And those Z washers are what takes the impact when the clutch applies, when the fork moves up. It, it, pushes against the Z washer here, and that's what pushes the pressure plate and applies each clutch. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider subscribing. I have a lot more focused videos for this transmission, diagnosis, and repair. And I hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching.